What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is the Joyful Sojourn and in today's video we are decorating the Happy Planner Classic Horizontal Layout which I am using as a faith journal and I think we're going, I pulled a couple sticker books that <laughs> seem a little bit odd together. I don't know how this is going to work but we are going to give it a go together. This layout I will say is for more journaling than task productivity. So you're not gonna see a lot of bullet lists in this particular planner. This can be totally decorative. And then I just fill in the gaps with writing and just anything that God is putting on my heart. So let's get into it. The sticker books I grabbed, are you guys ready for this? This is gonna be interesting. I grabbed the Apricot Dream sticker book. This is in the Life Hack box and Bridgerton. You guys, I have not used this sticker book yet, and I think it's time. So let's see how the House of Bridgerton sticker book is going to fit into this particular planner. Um, it's a really pretty sticker book. I, I think the decor is gorgeous. Um, the wax seals are nice. I like the flourishes. Probably won't use the um, black paper ones or darker papered ones. But these frames are just really pretty. And I mean, look at that. It's just really lovely. These deco stickers are it's like so good. Yeah, so pretty. I gotta look at it one more time because <clears throat> I need all the inspo. We've got really pretty florals, which would be great to use. And yeah, I mean, yeah, I like these florals. And I kinda wanna use this guy too. The horse and carriage would be really pretty. Wax seals again. Yeah, they're just really pretty. Love the florals on this. So yeah, I think we're gonna do this for deco. Let me look through this sticker book again. This is the one that is exclusive to the uh, life, life hack box. Some of these functional ones are not going to work, but some of the quotes might, <coughs> excuse me. Um, yeah, some of these words might work like joy, dream, grow, inspire. Got some habit boxes. So it'll be interesting to see. I mean, these colors are a bit of a stretch with, yeah, I mean, these are so good. I wonder if any of these could match with, where are the clear florals? I was looking at these ones. I guess this, like the orangey could be a bit of a stretch for this. I think I'm gonna rely more on, yeah, I think I'm gonna rely more on the Bridgerton, but maybe grab some black quotes. Hmm. Hold the vision, dream, trust the process. I don't know. I might not use this one because this is like goals and like habits. Do I like the all in? That could be pertaining to my faith, right? What kind of sticker is that? Oh, just go all in. It's a vertical sticker. But I could cut that if I wanted to just use the all in. I'm going to set this one aside and focus on Bridgerton. Do we want to use some washi tape? This has become my, uh, my go-to for washi. This is a Portland leather bag. I really want to do a Portland leather brand video to share with you guys all my little, all my little littles. Um, but I've really been liking this like makeup bag. I think it's called the, um, it's an eclipse bag. Is that right? Eclipse? And so I've put a lot of my neutral washi in here and then I take this into the house with me if I'm doing like decorating and stuff. Let's see if any of these neutral washi, I mean, obviously I always go for the script washi because I feel like it's a good way to add some like texture onto the, onto the planning pages, but I don't want to be a broken record, you know? I want to change things up. I did get some, and then there's like the grid. The grid is always a good way to add some texture as well. I did get some inks. I could mess around with inks today. I have um, 
an Instagram reel going up where I swatch all of these inks that I have, but I'm kind of afraid. Here, we'll set this guy aside. I do have swatches here. Do I want to play with inks today? That is the question. That purple hydrangea could be a good match if I did. Do I want to mess with, I kind of, I kind of want to play today, guys. Do we do it? Do we do something a little risky? I kind of think we do. It might be a disaster. Let's just have a little bit of fun, shall we? So I'm going to grab my, I picked up this tool a while ago. If I could find it. Hopefully I didn't get rid of it or anything. Let's see. It's like a stamping type tool. Or it's like a brush. It's more like a brush. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Because I can buff on. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Here it is. No, that's not it. If you guys saw how messy my desk is, you would be truly, you would be judging me so hard right now. It's atrocious. I used to have, where is it? This little buffing tool for inks and stuff. If I can't, I'm gonna give myself 10 more seconds. You can hear me rifling through. I'm gonna, I bet I'm gonna find this once I, once I stop recording, I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna be so mad. Hold on, let me check one more place. The other thing I could do is, although this doesn't do me any good, if I have like a makeup sponge or something, I could use a makeup sponge. I know that I have this puff though, this little puff thing. All right, I'm about to run out of time for being allowed to look. I could just do like some finger painting. That would be super messy. <sighs> I truly don't know what to do because that tool is like the tool, the perfect tool for what I'm envisioning. I wonder, hold on. No, I don't even have, so I have these like brush pens that you put water in. I wonder if these would work with water. I do have a little bit of water here. Oh my gosh, guys, am I gonna make a big mistake? Very possible. So I have these brush pens. I wonder if, I think I want a flat tipped pen. I got these on Amazon. I'm gonna do it. Oh, we're gonna do something different. I wanna do, I wanna do more different things decorating this year. I'm gonna do more different things. I have, you know, these inks that I'm starting to collect. I really, really, really want to play with rub-on stickers, like transfer stickers. I did not have the best of luck with the ones that I got from, how does this work? Okay, well, I might've just messed this up. I feel like this is supposed to twist, but it's not twisting. So I got some, for, yeah, this is not good. I should have, uh, oh wait, <laughs> there we go. What was I talking about? Oh, um, I got some, you guys, this is, <laughs> is anybody yelling at me yet? Ugh, now I'm getting water on the paper. I should have really thought about this before getting messy. Let's just take the dress I'm wearing. I know, cringe. And nobody has to know, except you guys, because I'm not editing this out. You get to see me try something new. Okay, what was I saying? Um, okay, let me just, I'm gonna do the, I'm still here, guys. I'm just gonna do this over my trash can. So I want to try new things on my channel and in my journals and planners. And so, one of those things, in addition to stamps, is the rub-on transfers. And I got some in, I think it was a box, like a Lauren Phelps Designs box.
box was not an advent box just one of her like quarterly boxes and okay I'm just getting this back on <clears throat> although this is pointless if I can't get the bristles back in to this guy which is kind of guides the bristles look we've got some we're sacrificing some bristles just to get this back on so, so there were some transfer stickers in a box from Lauren Phelps designs and I tried it in one of my planners and I couldn't get the right pages to I couldn't get the paper part to separate well from the plastic part thus allowing the um transfer to be sticky on paper if that makes any sense at all and so I need to either maybe they were old or like the temp in my office is not good look how fun she looks that's that's ridiculous and already we're 11 minutes in and I've done absolutely nothing okay so what I'm trying to do let's move the paper out of the way I want to get some water on this brush okay okay it's kind of starting to go I'm actually gonna just take advantage of this opportunity and see these are already dry but can I move them with water not really all of that might have been for nothing unless it's just because they're dry all right I think we're going to possibly make a mistake and if that's the case, um, we're going to keep going. <laughs> and I might not put this on Instagram. We'll see. To be determined. So I have all of these goodies that I picked up from jetpens.com. And I want purple hydrangea. That looks like perfect plumeria. Purple hydrangea. Should we test it? Let's just see. So if this is dry, or excuse me, wet, can you move it? You can, but like not easily. I don't know if I want to get the planner all wet. Because I do think the stuff will wrinkle. Okay, well, if you guys are seeing this video, be surprised because... At this point, I'm thinking I should delete this one. But let's let's give it a go, okay? I'm just gonna do it. We're just gonna do some smearing, or should I do some dotting? Hold on. Hmm. We're just gonna do a little testing. So that was dotting. Let's go back to another page. I mean, this stuff is so pretty, but what I need is that buffer. Should I just do it? Oh boy. I'm just gonna do it. Oh my gosh, okay. So I don't get this on my tabletop. And then I go right here and I'm just gonna <gasps> gently rub in circles. Oh boy. I'm gonna try not to let it be clumpy anywhere and I'll just do a little bit here oh boy we're just going for it guys and let's do a little bit here hey no pain no gain right <laughs> and you know what there's always next week that's what I love about planners and notebooks there's always next week I love the way the color looks thicker on the edge of the page I think that's really pretty let's do a little bit on this corner this is not the tool that I would use I would not be using this but what I'm looking for I have one is my little buffer thing I need to find my little buffer thing all right we have thrown down some purple on here we are really, really just messing around. Should we just like go for it and add some other colors? Mm, dare we? There is like a really pretty blue. Dare we do it? I kind of think 
When in Rome. Never done this before. All right, that is very inky and I don't like it. So I'm gonna try to go a little bit lighter. Swirly whirlies. Swirly whirlies. I wonder if I could put a little bit down here. Oh boy. Do we need a little bit more of the purple? I kind of think we should. Or we could grab this one. Oh boy. This one's a little bit pinker. Do a little bit of this kind of pinker color. This could be a disaster. Now let me test this out for you guys. Let me just, we're just having fun here, right? Having fun, making mistakes, seeing what works and what doesn't work. Hoping that it all comes together in the, in the end. So in case you're curious what colors I just used, this is the Dewdrop Versa Magic in Purple Hydrangea, Perfect Plumeria, and Night Sky. Very pretty jewel tones. I'm so, so on the, I like the idea of these. Here's a little review for you. So this came in a, what, a 12 pack, something like that on jet pens. I love that you can display them, that they stand up, but my gosh, this packaging. Um, when I tried to open the first one, I got ink all over my hands and I feel like it doesn't reclose really tight. I think these are gonna dry out really fast. So while I did just buy these on jet pens and I am using them, I can't say that I recommend them yet. I'm curious to see how long they last in packaging like this. So don't buy them unless they survive several months of usage. Okay, so that dries pretty fast. So I think the product is nice. I think the delivery is not so great. Okay, let's hope that we can do some things here. So I know I want the horse and carriage guy because I think he's cool. Here he is. Is it gonna look weird with him on top of the ink? Let me grab some tweezers. Ooh, do we want to add some script washi? Could add some script washi. Do we do the vintagey or the black white? I kind of think we go with the black white. I'm gonna go with this washi. This is from the washi tape shop. Joyful 10 will always save you 10% off from the washi tape shop. I think this is washi that I purchased though. Um, they do send me washi tape from time to time, but I'm pretty sure this might've been one that I purchased. I love it. It is one of my favorites. I'm gonna throw this guy, how big, how big is this sticker? Let me move, move this guy around, grab these tweezers. Do I want him to be layered like so over here or do we want him over here? I kind of think I want him a little bit more to the left. With the colors underneath him. Yep. Yeah, I think I like that. Approved. Let's keep going. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing all right. A little bit, a little bit of a slow start to the new year, which I think is really good. As soon as I stopped feeling like I had to do stuff on other people's timelines and really did what was best for me and my family's timelines, like all of the pressure really went away. It's really freeing to like, I don't know, I know this sounds weird. It's freeing to choose my family first. <laughs> it really is. Lots of freedom there. Um, and yeah, setting new priorities and stuff, which is really, really good. All right. So, oh man, this is this is something. Now, somebody asked me in a video, a couple videos back, about what call-out boxes really are for. 
Um, if you are the one that asked me that, you'll know it's you. <clears throat> I don't really do a lot of call out boxes, you know, like clusters and boxes and stuff in my regular planning, just because it's not my personal aesthetic. But I know a lot of people do it to call out like events that happened or appointments, stuff like that. <clears throat> and uh, I am thinking in this particular planner, it is nice to do call out. I'm going to rip this again. I like getting rid of raw edges, or excuse me, flat edges. I'm more of a raw edge kind of gal. So I'm going to throw this up here just for a little bit more. But I like doing occasional clusters in this horizontal layout because it looks cool. And I can put, you know, if there's a specific like scripture on my heart or um, just anything I'm thinking about that I want to highlight, I can put that there. I think I want this floral moment up here in the corner. I'll do that. This has really become a more like creative journal for me because there aren't really a lot of rules I need to follow. I can write in it whatever I want. The topic is, it's faith related, but I can, I can decorate it however I want. I should say it that way. And I can write around the decoration. I'm just taking the pieces that I cut off and I'm laying them back down to kind of like ombre out, fizzle out the stuff. And then this is a bone, it's a paper folding tool and I use it to like scrape in, really push in clear stickers. If you've been here a while, you know, I do it all the time, I say it all the time. Clear stickers, when you put them down on paper, you can see the air underneath and the appearance of that is really troublesome to me. So I take the time to really push these in, let them gel into the paper so that I have more of a seamless finish. All right, so we've got a little bit of florals. And I feel like we need more though. I kind of like the way, I feel like it would kind of help with the ink situation. So I'm gonna grab a box, I think. I'm gonna go back over here, see if I can find a box that's kind of subtle. Like this, these ones are kind of subtle. I could add some teal to this or just stick with the pinks and purples. Hmm. Or I could use a frame with no purpose other than what if we did it to like frame a floral? <gasps> what? So a sticker like this, you're looking at this and going like, what is the purpose you can't write on it? You can, you can write on this with an oil based pen. Like, of course I never have one with me at this desk, but it is the, hold on a second. Hold on. And of course it's not gonna be this pen pouch, right? It is this pen pouch. So the Unipin that is in the gray barrel is oil-based and these will work on your transparent sticky notes and on plasticky stickers like this. It is different than the regular Unipin, which is in a black barrel. So definitely stock up, get a couple of these oil-based Unipins. They are excellent, highly recommend. Ooh, I should do my favorite stationary video soon. I'm overdue for that. So I'm thinking, yeah, so you can write on this, but I just like the look of the frame. And technically I could put a, I could do it kind of wonky. What if I made like, so I had this piece that I ripped off. What if I took, cause it's kind of like the old or like the end of the washi that was getting um, exposed to air. What if I did like a, Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna cut this into a 90 degree angle because I want it to go like it's coming out from the side of the frame. Like I'm gonna create a piece of art. Haven't really done this before. We're gonna see how this works. Actually, let's try putting this down upside down. Then I'm going to, ooh, we are really doing some new things today doing some new things. I'm going to, 
Do I want the, I think I want the washi tape first. I'm gonna do that, maybe. So I'm sticking the washi on the floral, okay, like that. Now I'm gonna tape or stick, hold on, grab that piece, I might want that again. I'm gonna take off the excess washi. I'm going to stick this inside the frame, oh boy, like that. You guys see that? Cute! And then, do I want it to be a little topsy-turvy? Or straight? Oh, this is the hard part. Because once I stick it down, it's not coming back up. I can use undo, but I'm not going to want to. That looks so freaking pretty. I'm even proud of myself. I think that this calls for a straight box. So I'm going to put this down as straight as I can. And really, there's no function to this. This is just creating a fun little accent piece. This is gonna be harder to get like all the air out of here, but this already is helping. Look how it's diffusing that ink that was kind of a weird texture to it. Let's try to really push down the washi tape, the florals. Can you guys see that? It is funky, you guys. Very funky. But we're going to keep going. But wait, there's more. Now, were there some cool quotes? Because I wouldn't mind um, a cool quote moment. Like, I feel like we need a little something there. There is beauty all around. See and be seen. The best of days. None of those are quite right for... You know, I could, though, add... What if I added one of these that doesn't have a crown. I'm kind of unbridgertoning un it a little bit, but I could just add just a little bit here. I just feel like it needs a little bit more purple. Not sure I love that, but we're gonna leave it. Okay, let's go over to the other side and see what I can do. We've introduced some of this green, so that is pretty. I feel like we could do another box situation. Clear box. I have used exclusively clear sticker so far and uh, it's just a thing I have when I use clear stickers. Once I've committed to clear stickers, I don't like using paper in the same spread that is. So I've kind of started down the clear train. So we're gonna stick with clear. <clears throat> so here we've got some pretty florals. I'm thinking putting some florals here. Let's go back to the page that has florals like the one that are, yep, like this. Already here in the corner. So I'm gonna just start cutting these guys. You can lay a sticker down and use a like a craft knife to cut off the edge. But I am, I don't know, much more a fan of pre-cutting and then just lining up the flat edge to the line. I just feel like it's a little bit easier. So I throw this guy maybe a little bit lower because I'm going to do florals all the way up and I want the stem at the bottom. Why? I don't know. I just think it looks cool. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Should we do some pink? Sure. We could also, how would we do this if we wanted to add some of this? Now, with washi that is horizontally oriented, 
I don't like to go vertical. <sighs> so. I kind of want to leave this wider. Not this long though, so I'm going to rip off a little bit more. I'm going to rip off the flat edge on both sides or the straight edge. So we have a piece out here. And these stickers are easier, much more easily laid down over washi tape. I cut here. I don't need that extra stem. Ooh, look at me using stickers with foil. Put that guy there. Definitely want another bumblebee because they're cute. They are cute. I'm trying to think of what is new since the last time I filmed. Have I changed my handle yet? I think so. The Joyful Sojourn. You guys, I have to say I have been so, I'm going to go, I'm going to let this kind of float out a little bit. I've been so blessed by the, um, <sighs> what's the word? Just the reception, how you guys have received me and um, these changes. It's been really, really a blessing. So excited to be on this journey with you and really blessed that I feel like I haven't had one person, don't be that person, but I haven't had one person be like, that's stupid. <laughs> that's stupid. Why'd you change your handle? I like TJ Joyful Plans better. I'm the same person, just a different handle. So I just have really been blessed by you guys. So thank you. Thank you, Mucho. I kind of want more big flowers, I like the purple ones. I wonder if there's a way that I can, I think I kind of need to use this one because it takes up more space. Maybe I can do like a weird, I don't want the stem though. Maybe I will. Where did I cut that? Right here? That's the thing with pre-cutting is you got to be pretty committed or have a general plan for where you're going to lay something. Throw that guy there. So far, so good. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, you guys have just been really great and I'm really blessed by you. And you know who's like my number one fan that has been really honestly just like such a surprise since starting EJ Joyful Plans and now the Joyful Sojourn my husband I, I just I'm so blessed by him can I just like I don't know brag on Josh for a minute I feel like he he tries like so well to understand me and this kind of thing I'm doing. And I feel like he gets it. Um, he has been so encouraging of me, so excited for me to kind of like rebrand and really encouraging me almost faster than I'm ready to like try some things that scare me. Um, he just has like so much, I don't know, faith in what I can do and what I can be. Look how cute that little bee is. So cute. And I've just been just so, so blessed by that one, you guys. So blessed. But he's really excited for what I'm doing and where I can go with the Joyful Sojourn. And he's even giving me, like, ideas. That guy is a bigger dreamer than I ever really understood. I mean, I knew that about him when we were dating. He's a big, he's a big dreamer, big ideas guy. But um, he really helped me the last few days think about some things that, like, I've been thinking about but haven't really, like, really broken down. And he's asked me some really good questions that have helped me break things down into bite-sized chunks. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm really blessed by him. Yay, Josh. He's a good one. Now, I feel like I need to 
bring over some of the frame moment stuff. And I'm wondering if there's a way I can do it. Should I just do it up in the corner? Wouldn't that be kind of weird? I almost need like another box. Do I do it in kind of a random spot? Would that be kind of hokey? I don't think that's gonna work. I mean, I like trying new things, but that is a bit of a stretch. Okay, I think I need to do more though up here to kind of cover that up. And to do that, let's grab a little bit more of this washi unless I have any pieces. I don't think I have any strips that work quite the way I want them to. Of course, this has ripped, so I wanna keep this thicker, I think. So we'll go there. And rip off that part. Let's see. Can you see the ink underneath? You can. That could work. We've lost the dating, but I'm not sure that's a problem. Not sure that is a problem. I do have some remnants. Do I want to use the remnants? I guess we could throw a little bit right here. I might need to put some full blown flowers out. Yeah, cause that kind of looks like a little too scrappy dappy. Scrappy dampy. I'd love to use a wax seal, that'd be kind of cool. I don't think there's any gold, or excuse me, clear wax stickers though. We could add a little bit more of this guy. We could add it in a different color. What if I added some gold? That doesn't really match. We haven't used much gold. Could grab a smaller piece like what we have on the other side. Lay that there. Now this is going to get hidden in a heartbeat. Let's pull that guy back up. We need more flowers. When in doubt, add flowers. I know some people are like over flowers, but flowers are the best filler. I will say it. Ooh, see and be seen. I must make haste. We could throw a quote up here. Maybe we do that. I think we do a quote. Let's do a quote. I might need to switch over to the sticker book I wasn't sure I was going to use. Let's go back to this sheet because this has the flowers that match everything else. Let's add flowers, add a quote, and then I feel like we need a little bit more in the bottom. I'm gonna put this here. It looks a little matchy-matchy for now, but bear with me. I will change this in just a second. Throw this guy down, and then let's add some additional flourishes to kind of make it look like this is not exactly like that guy. And I think we can grab, oh, is that one piece? That is one piece. Sure, we can go some stem drapage. That works. All right, let's see if we can find a good quote. If we can't find a good one from here, we'll go back to the other sticker book. Some of these might be just a little too Bridgerton. Like, I don't need it in my faith journal. The social season is upon us. I don't think that really is. I must make haste. Sparkle. They're good quotes. They're just not hitting it. These colors look a little different than what I want to go with. All right, I think we're going to jump over. No. Okay, let's jump over to the other sticker book. If I can find it. I think I destroyed, here we go, destroyed my desk trying to find that brush thing. 
All right, we are looking for a good quote. I don't want any more foil. This all has um, gold foil, whereas this sticker book has a rose gold, so it, they're not a match anyways. I'd like to keep, keep my quotes separate. Okay, so we've got good words here, okay? So I think we're gonna use these words. First one is going to be inspire. This one is grow. I think I wanna put this, I want it kind of tucked maybe here. Or is it too close to the other one? I could put it down here. Inspire, grow, but I kind of want, kind of want it going this way. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna kind of cluster it in here. Grow, so inspire, grow. Wait, let's see. Let's press this guy down. All right, I'm starting to like this, guys. <laughs> I never, never know what is going to happen. And then kind of towards the end, it starts to make a little bit of sense. And then when you see it on discs, it makes a lot of sense. So inspire, grow. Uh, I don't think I want success on there. I think I want dream. I feel like we need maybe more ink here. Unless... Ooh. Oh, I just realized that. Hold on. Does joy. I'm having so much fun. <gasps> when was the last time I, I said like, wow, I am like really having fun in my planner. Okay. So this is rose gold. <sighs> rose gold or this like orangey color that does not match. I mean, it's a, it's like It is a jump to say that that passes for the same yellow as the, oh, you guys. Mm. No, it's just a square peg round hole. We don't need to force it. Do I put dream down here maybe? Maybe here? I feel like this corner needs more color. I think that's what's throwing me off. I'm gonna, hold on guys, we're gonna have a, we're gonna do something. Then we'll lay the dream sticker down. Let's go back to our inks. Um, let's find the purple. So it's the purple, is Plumeria the, oh geez. Geez Louise. Uh, Purple hydrangea. All right, I do not want to make a mess on this thing. So we're gonna go back over here. Oh boy, this makes me nervous. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Okay, Get this guy out of the way. Throw that down. Then we take dream. And I'm gonna put dream down at the bottom. Right there. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, this guy. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to put this back on discs, see what it looks like. And if it doesn't look the way I want it to, I'm going to start over. Not start over again. I'm going to, hold on, add a little bit more. Always have to like stand up and look at it. There we go. Pull this guy out a little bit. Ooh, this is gonna be a long video, guys. What happens when I play in my planner? This is killing my vibe, my aesthetic. All right, what are we missing here? I don't 
don't know, maybe, I mean, this looks a little naked. I could do a little bit here. Let's do a little bit more down here and maybe throw a little bit of ink up here. While this is on here, do you guys see what I see? Do you see, um, do you see where the naked spots are? It took me a while when I was decorative planning to really be like, oh, like how do I know what looks good where? There will come a time, if, if you're not there already, where you'll look at something and you'll see it's lacking balance. And I can see that. I can see that we need something here and we need something right here. So let's go back, pull this guy off, grab some more inkies. My trusty little notebook from Mojo Jojo Plans. No, not Mojo Jojo Plans. Jojo's Pretty Paper Shop. There are two Jojos in the community. They make very different things. So, can't mix them up. All right, so I'm just putting, I'm just rubbing a little, little color. Maybe go a little more heavy handed in the corner. And maybe go all the way across. Sure, a little bit more. I wonder how this will do on the washi. I'm seeing that it's going on the washi. I don't know, I guess we'll find out if this smudges. I can't really tell. All right, so we did a little bit of color there. Maybe we need a little, maybe a piece of scrap. This is why you don't throw away any of your sticker scraps until you're actually done decorating. Like keep them on the edge of your desk. That's where mine are. And then I throw them away at the end when I'm like done. That looks a little wonky just having this script piece here. I wonder if I can move it over. Let's see if it's move, moving over a bowl. I don't think so because it's underneath the sticker. Okay, well, we're gonna leave that just as it is. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more color. Buff on a little bit more color all the way to the end. I think that works. And I could just add a little bit more here. I'm gonna add some floral too, I think. I think it needs, I think we need a bigger flower right there. So let's grab the Laura Jolton sticker book. Go back to the clear florals. These ones are a little bit different, but I think if I stick to a purple one like this, it'll be okay. I'm going to put it kind of want it like right there. I want the stem off the page cuz I don't like randomly floating stems. It's got to be attached to something <clears throat> or be at the bottom of the page. So in this case I think I want this to go up there where it's just off the edge. So it looks like it's coming in off the page. I think that'll do. I'll press it in. Yeah, I feel like that helps quite a bit. Then we're gonna take my, oh my goodness. Oh, here it is. We are Memory Keepers Power Disc Punch. This gem, it's a little pricey, you can find coupons for it, but um, I do love this thing. It just does individual punches, which is really handy if you're a decorative planner and you don't wanna re-punch the whole page using a full like disc punch. <clears throat> I think we need some flour down here, what do you guys think? Maybe a little bit of this like blue. Does that not make a lot of sense? I might regret not putting flour down here. So, no, I just don't think it works. Here's the thing. Uh, make sure that you're following me over on Instagram because if I do make any changes after I've filmed, you'll see that in the flat lay picture on my Instagram feed. The Joyful Sojourn. I wonder if I should do like I wonder if I could lift up Dream and put 
have this flower be kind of coming out of it? Or do I just go right there? Let's see, I'm not super fond of that, but we're gonna go with it anyways. Let's go a little bit more into the corner. Make sure my period on there is seen pretty clearly. All right, so we filled that in a little bit. This still looks a little naked to me. So grab this guy again. gonna do a little bit I love the edging of the ink I'm gonna be able to see it in next week's spread but on the other side oh not too bad actually it's actually pretty good okay so ooh, and then see now now I feel like that's a little bit too naked down here either or as well so I'm gonna that. Okay, now I'm done with this page. Let's go back to the other page where I am certain I want something in that lower left corner. Hmm. Okay, let's grab this piece get it ready to go i think i want to do another little horizontal spot but we need to add add some color a little bit of color as gently as possible at this point i'm not even pushing i've learned my technique don't push too hard don't push Got to remember, this is the ink pad itself. It's not like a buffing tool. Wispy, ooh, what if we just kind of, too much, too much, walk away. I just, I just want to play now. It's too fun. Okay, do we need to add a little bit more dimension? I think so. Let's go back to this guy. Should we add a little pink in here? And I think we need a little, a little more. Oh boy, not sure I like that, but we're gonna we're gonna mute it back down again by adding a bunch of junk to it. And by junk, I mean washi and stickers. So let's play around a little bit. Uh, do we go with a thinner strip? Getting rid of my flat edge. Kind of think. Now, I don't want to lose writing space, so right now I can kind of weave around. Just a little bit there, maybe. And then let's add some florals. Not a lot, just a little. See if I'm capable of being subtle. We really are at the tail end of available stickers on this sheet. We could keep it simple down here and just do that. I rather like that actually. Just doing a simple leaf. What do you guys think? dude let's do it let's create a flat edge first though right there and then just right there I think that's pretty all right now let's put it all on discs and 
Do I want to add another word? I might want to add another word if there's a good one, specifically in black font. Let's go back to this guy, Apricot Dream. Let's go back to our words. First of all, let's see which one's on the metallic fate, uh, place. So we have Inspire, Grow, Dream. And oh, yeah, I mean, learn is applicable. Support, yeah. Priority, that's a good word. I'm gonna do, let's see what the learn looks like in this color, if this actually works. If I put it like right here. Kind of hard to see. I want another word and I want it to be in black, but I just, I don't want success to be the word. I like the word learn. I don't like the color. Okay, the other thing you can do or I can do. Let's see if there's other clear quotes. That I can pop in the uh, cutting out like any of the rest of the quote that doesn't like work for me. You know what I mean? You can take a clear quote and just cut out the word that you want to use. You know what else has clear quotes? Hold on a second. I'm looking, I'm looking. Where's my black and white sticker book? Black and white, right here. Bold and free. Black and white. Let's look at the black and white sticker book. <sighs> okay. Hmm, these fonts are going to be different, but maybe if it's, maybe if it's just one, it'll look like a special call-out quote. Oh my goodness, you guys, this video is going on an hour. I have not been efficient with my time today. <laughs> we simply are worthy as is. Don't stop playing. Ah. Uh, Trying to think, no one has ever become poor from giving and free. No, mm -hmm. no, beauty, no time like this moment. Live in the present. Mm. See the good time to relax today. Is the day of falling. None of these quite feel right to me. Hmm. Well, let me check one more time in Bridgerton, and then I think we're going to have to call it a spread. Okay, let's go back. I must make haste. I mean... I keep going back to this one. It's not inaccurate. I don't like it. I don't like it. And now I'm really conflicted. For the record, even though I'm struggling with a, one sticker to place, I am having fun. I'm not stressing about perfectionism. I really am enjoying, this is like a puzzle. This is a puzzle that I'm trying to figure out. And hmm, what about this little one? Is this one little sticker? Girl, you already have what it takes. It is, look at that little baby sticker. 
that here? Do I put it here? I really feel like there needs to be something there. I'm gonna put this here in the frame because I think that looks cool. And then I'm gonna put another flower just right there to fill that space because I think that's what's bothering me is the space. Okay, wrong sticker book. Bridgerton! Guys, I'm just gonna <laughs> say my my uh, outro now. I uh, hope you had a good time <laughs> decorating with me. Hope it didn't stress you out too much. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Come hang out with me on Instagram. My handle is EJJoy. Oh, no, it's not. Oh my gosh. My handle is the Joyful Sojourn. And if you want to hang out with me again, I sure hope that you do. Maybe it won't be as long next time. <laughs> Please consider subscribing to my channel. Who knows what other fun new mediums we're going to try in my notebooks, journals, and planners this year. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. I don't know, sometime this week, like try something new. Let me know how it works out and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.